So in the past couple of days, I reached a hundred subscribers. What? A hundred? That, that's a lot of people. That's more friends than I have. So I'm pretty sure that it was Steve from the Steve's channel who pushed my sub count up past this arbitrary numerical limit made possible by, by the fact that we count in base 10. So thanks Steve for the shout out and hi new people. I heard you're also Michael Ronda fans. Maybe I should have worn my Michael Ronda t-shirt for this video. Oh well. So my original plans for this video was just going to be this intro and then a giant uncut take from me practicing my presentation which I presented yesterday in bad German. So instead of alienating what I think is probably the vast majority of you who don't speak German, I'm just gonna talk about time. Okay? Good idea? So this past weekend, I. I felt like I did really nothing. Instead of going to places like Neuschwanstein Castle or um, hiking in the Alps like a bunch of people did, I just sort of stayed in my room and watched a lot of TV that I could have been watching if I was at home. And that's a great counter example of what you should do if you are away from home for a month in a strange and awesome place. So to put into perspective how fast this time really goes, I have this bruise on my leg from when I walked into my bed frame at home three weeks ago. And the bruise is still there. Like, I'm pretty sure it's going to live longer than the entirety of this trip. And that's a really strange thing to think. Like, bruises should go away in like a week, right? But I don't know what's up with this one and it just shows how fast time is and how slow it is apparently for the bruise. And then there's the fact that this Sunday was Munich's 857th birthday. That's really old. Like, there are no cities in America that are that old. Granted, that's sort of because of creepy imperial conquest and stuff, but... Uh, sad history. But what I'm trying to say is, time moves by really fast. Munich is not that old of a city, it feels like, but it's 857 years old. So, I mean, there was like a huge celebration, like, I don't understand why. Maybe it's just because it's old enough that you could just keep celebrating it, like, it's the last one ever. I mean, it's like seven Dumbledores old, but yeah, that was actually pretty fun. I went to it, there was a lot of people selling things, and it was very festival -y. So I also want to talk about how I went to a bookstore yesterday. It was six stories tall. I got several books, which I'll be talking about later in another video. Well, I think the cool thing about it was how the atmosphere of the bookstore was so relaxed and it was inviting and warm, even though it was one of those chain bookstores. Think Borders, Barnes & Noble, that kind of thing. And the thing about it was it was full of people. They had these couches everywhere and people were just sitting on them, reading things and they were of all ages from very old to relatively young people and they were all like nicely dressed because they just like got off of work and stuff. And I was just thinking like, Americans always say that they don't have enough time to read, but German people here, these are people who have a stereotype about how they keep working all the time, but here they are reading a lot and there's so many of them. Maybe we should follow that example. Time, you know? All these subjects are related. I got a book called Fate is a Lousy Trader, roughly translated. And you know what, I agree. Fate, that's like time, right? That, that, the trader. So basically, TLDR, this trip is almost over and I'm gonna go enjoy it now. Just kidding, this is not very good. I have to go make breakfast and then go to class for three hours, but after that I'm going to enjoy it now. Thanks for the new people for coming. Hello again, and I guess goodbye. Tell me how your time has been. Just time, and anything about time in general. I, I Loosely related topics. I don't know. What, what is anything anymore? Okay, goodbye.